welcome back to my channel so today i have got a haul for you it is the first haul of 2024 and it's from aldi my first proper shopping haul we've had so much going on recently i've had to do like orders online and i bloody hate them because they've never got the stuff they send stupid substitutes or they remove the items that i desperately need it drives me insane um yesterday as well i ordered some things from deliveroo and i've done this before and i know everyone can shout at me for for trusting them but i could see them on the app they were outside the house and i was in the middle of a call and i quickly messaged them and said i can see you outside the house please can you leave the bag on the doorstep gave them the code because you have to give them a code to say you've got it i've done it so many times i always trust the drivers especially when they're right outside your house I went to the door, he drove off. He drove off with my shopping. So I immediately got on the phone to Deliveroo and they said, no, the driver said that he's dropped it off and you gave the number out. And I said, yeah, but you know, I I'd, I'd just thought because he was there and I've done it before, but no, don't trust anybody, seriously. And do you know what? The delivery driver has been to my house so many times before. I'm gonna say something next time he comes because that is, that's disgusting behavior. That's theft. And guess what? Delivery never gave me a refund. So I lost out on like 20 odd quid yesterday, which I, I definitely can't afford at the moment. So yeah, and I've been shopping. I think it came to something like £103, which I definitely can't afford, but I needed so much. And I did get us a couple of treaty bits because we've had no treaty bits since Christmas because we're basically poor. So yeah, I will... Um, I will show you what I've got anyway. I'm going to whack it on the side rather than get out of the bag. I'm not using my camera, I'm using my phone because I have not used my camera for so long. Can't find my memory card. Don't know where I've put it, but yeah, can't find it. So I'm going to be using my phone. So let me whack the stuff on the side and I'll be back. Hello, Buggida. Hello. Right, just ignore my cooker because it does need a wipe down. I haven't wiped it from last night's dinner, but we will ignore that. Right, so starting from over here, so um, we've got the frozen and the fridge bits. So we've got frozen and the fridge bits, freezer and the fridge bits. So I've got some Nor Pack, slightly salted. I've got some seedless red grapes. I think I've got two of those. I think the other ones are near the back. I've got some streaky bacon. I've just gone for the cheaper one because we're on a budget. Um, Piccolo tomatoes, I absolutely love them. I haven't had them for ages. Uh, I've got two garlic and herbs. Um, I was going to say kebabs. Kievs. Kievs. That'll be for meal one night. And probably some rice. I've got a sticky toffee pudding. This is what I thought I would treat us to. Um, yeah. So we've got sticky toffee pudding. I've got a mozzarella. So this will go in a pasta dish. Some hummus. I've got some 16 Irish recipe pork sausages. These are frozen. Um, they were 2.29, and I got them because 16 sausages for 2.29 is a bonus. And my mum said they're really nice, so I thought you could try. Um, I've got Matthew. What else? Both of us will have these. Some large prawns, so we'll make like a prawn salad with that. I've got some lettuce in the um, fridge as well. I've got some hash browns because my freezer is getting really low so yeah things like this they last for ages um i've got some broccoli and cauliflower florets for 50 percent off so this will go half in broccoli's meals and half will go like a um a side of veg when we have a meal uh we've got some raspberries to go in yogurt picked up some sticky teriyaki chicken thigh bites for just a, a quick tea. Um, and then we've got chicken breast and uh, broccoli, and these are actually really good in the air fryer. One kg, I think they were four forty nine. They were two ninety nine. They were two ninety nine. Two twenty nine, and oh, I can't remember how much they were. Uh, we've got some carrots, they were sixty five p. We've got some semi skimmed milk. Some Greek style natural yogurt, so the raspberries will go with that with some honey. Um, completely out of cheese. Now, I wanted to get some blocks of cheese, all we had was low fat cheese, and I don't like low fat cheese. So, I've got some Grana Padano grated cheese, this is for pasta dishes. 
I've got some grated mozzarella and some grated mature cheddar. So I wanted to get the broth of that, but they just didn't have any. So just got that for now. I've got some sliced mushrooms, so 95p. And I've got some Wiltshire cured ham slices. This is for um, sandwiches, £2.9. I've got some thigh fillets. This is a medium pack. So this will be for a curry, some in Rocky's food and could you love chicken pie or something and then i've also got some chicken breast fillets um so i know i bought the frozen ones but they're really for rocky um these will be made into a meal for us so we've been eating quite a lot of chicken breast recently i've been doing loads of different meals with it um not vlogging it though what am i like so yeah i'll i'm gonna try my best to start vlogging a bit more i'm really really sorry that i've um yeah, I've been a hermit and I just didn't want to pick up the camera. I can't pick up the camera because I don't know where my, my memory card is. So I haven't picked up my phone. just need to pick up something to record. Anywho, over here I've got a big bag of the adult dog food with chicken and vegetables. I thought this, you know, just a, a little bit of this mixed in with Rocky's food will save us a bit of money. I think that was £5.9. And I've got four large bottles of the um, sparkling water. Um, I think that was, how much are these? Are these one, I think these were $1.99 or $1.95, something like that. Yeah, so that's all the uh, fridge and freezer food. I'm just going to pop this away and move on to the next bag. And just before I pop it in the fridge, that is beeping at me. I've got this ham and pineapple pizza for tonight's dinner. Very controversial pizza. Some people hate pineapple and pizza, but we love it. Right, my lovelies, bag number two. So I've got my few, some of the Honey Nut um, Harvest Morn cereal. Um, if you're um, not new to my channel and you know Matthew, he loves his... Um, Kellogg's Crunchy Nut, but they are so expensive, like tiny bucks for one ninety nine. This is one twenty five for five hundred five hundred grams. So much better. Um, I've got him some um, fruit fusions, orange and mango squash to go in his sparkling water. So he likes it with squash. I've got the. So Soft Owl Matte Frosty Berries Fabric Conditioner. It smells absolutely lovely. Got some macaroni. Um, haven't had coffee for ages. So we've got some Costa Rican Instant Coffee. A special selected one. Got some pasta and sauce. The chicken and mushroom. Some hot honey cashews. Two packets of the chicken instant noodles. Um, we've got two packets of the malted milk. Um, biscuits chocolate ones some british maris piper potatoes that's quite a big bag some onions that's just three pack of onions two packs of the quinoa pumpkin seed and quinoa pumpkin and sunflower seeds microwave ball rice for rocky's meals um we've got sea salt chardonnay vinegar crisps two garlic naan so curry is the second pack of seedless grapes Seedless red grapes, we absolutely love grapes at the moment, so absolutely delicious for us when they've just come out of the fridge and they're really cold, so they'll be going in the fridge in a minute. Uh, Rocky has got some mini nibbles treats, I don't think I did these here, yeah, paracetamol, and he's got some meaty strips with chicken as well. Got some free range eggs, six large eggs, some short antiperspirant. Some toasty, thick, sliced white bread. And oh, there, there's my instant oats, golden syrup flavour. I have really missed my porridge. I haven't had it for about two weeks. And oh, I just love it. So I'm so glad I've got that. We had completely run out of Marmite. So I've got some of the Mighty Yeast Extract. Um, this is vegan as well. This tastes exactly like Marmite. Um, I think it's like one ninety nine or something. It's it's pretty cheap, much cheaper than Marmite. I'm completely out of hairspray, and when I stick my hair on top of my head and all my fluffy hairs come out, it does my head in. I've run out of hairspray, so I just thought I'd get some of their Stronghold 
the Cura hairspray. I've got some tomato, cream of tomato soup, two tins of plum tomatoes, completely out of brown sauce. So I've got the HP brown sauce. Um, I've got Matthew a sweet and smoky sun dried tomato lentil and smoked paprika soup. I'm sure he had that one before and he liked it. And I've just picked up some cheap foil. This is probably going to get on my nerves. It's only 99p for 20 metres. But the normal foil was £3.49 and that was on offer. And I'm just, I'm just trying to cook back where I can. But I know there's a little, you know, few treaty bits in here. But, yeah, it keeps us sane. It keeps us sane. And I've got to cook back on certain things. So, yeah. And I've got me crisps and me biscuits and that but you know you know so that was my aldi haul let me know what you think of it i'm sure it come to 103 pounds i don't know where my receipt is um but yeah i'm just i really need to get motivated and get back vlogging again because i absolutely love vlogging rocky keeps jumping up to the um the unit that's over there because he's treating someone else so i bet give him something to eat in a minute because he must be hungry so yeah, I'm just gonna pop the rest of his stuff away and probably just have a snack because it's only half full. I'm not making dinner yet. So we'll just have something quick until dinner time. And um, we'll have the pizza and some homemade wedges. I'll just put a bit of garlic seasoning on them, a bit of smoked paprika, salt and pepper, um, olive oil, and just put them in the air for you. They're delicious. Yesterday's dinner or tea, whatever you wanna call it, we had I did homemade chips in the air fryer and I did fried eggs and sausage and it was mm, delicious with a slice of buttered bread just to make a chip butty. Yums. So yeah, we'll probably have that again this week because it was absolutely delicious and I bought plenty of potatoes. So sun's going down now. Like I said, it's half four. I've had a really busy day. Went to see Izzy today and did other bits as well um, with my mum and stepdad. But um, still in the same situation with the whole bank thing. Um, we had a really shitty customer on eBay as well for the last couple of days trying to sort it out. Bought a laptop, we sent it to him. The day after we sent it, he was moaning that he hadn't received it and he wanted a full refund. So we gave him the tracking number and he kept saying it was false. We're trying to defraud him, we're being really dishonest. And I was going on to every and tracking this laptop. He was being vile, absolutely vile. And then when he received the laptop, I was then sent some photos of the courier handing over the parcel to him. Two photos I've actually got of him at the door in his dressing gown and slippers at half one in the afternoon collecting this parcel. And um, not saying that dressing gown and slippers is bad, but he also told us the day before that he was he had an appointment at the police station at 10.30 in the morning because he was doing this for fraud. I said, um, okay, so when you get to the police station, make sure you pass over my messages um, so they can see that, you know, I've kept you up to date with tracking and everything. And can you give them my phone number so they can give me a call and I can just have a chat with them and, and let them know what's going on. He didn't go to the police station. He contacted me at 12 o'clock yesterday in the afternoon and he said he hadn't had it. He demanded a refund and said, we can't refund you because it's on its way. It's going to be with you between 12.30 and 1.30. The tracking's been updated. It's going to be with you between those times. It was actually delivered at 1.27. That's when I got the email with photos on there. 13.27 it was delivered with the photos and literally as soon as it was delivered he was messaging me saying it's broken the screen smashed the um you've sent it without a battery there's no charger i just thought this guy is is unbelievable he, he put a horrible review on ebay i just feel like sending him a refund just to make him go away i've had to block him on my phone because i rang him to try and um, you know, I thought, you know, if he's an elderly guy or he's not quite sure about how to track things, he's new to eBay, his number was on there, I'll give him a call. 
he come on the phone shouting at me, calling me love, listen to, listen to me love, he was saying, I'm an ex-police officer and I'm going to do you for fraud, I've got an appointment at 10.30 in the morning, blah, blah, blah. So I just said to him, look, I'm just calling you just to go through it with you about this tracking because you must be doing something wrong because it is a real tracking number. I send parcels all the time. I do things through Vinted and yeah. So he's reported us to eBay and apparently he's going to go to the police again. He hasn't even been to the police. So yeah, he says he's going to go to the police but i hope he does and i hope he gives them my number so they can give me a call because he'll be wasting police time he really is he's, he's trying to defraud us and when are we going to get a break so we had that delivery driver drive off with my shopping the guy that bought the laptop wants his money back the bank won't give us our money back I'm absolutely skint. I'm exhausted. I'm not motivated. I went up to see Izzy today and I just stood there really blank. I didn't know what to do. I just, life's hard at the minute. Life is difficult, but I don't want to keep on moaning because I've moaned enough now. So and put the rest of this shopping away and get this edited and up for tonight for you thank you so much for tuning in and watching my vlog if you're new here welcome if you're not subscribed already please hit that subscribe button also can everyone hit the like button also can everyone hit the like button because it really really helps my channel out how's my channel out how's my channel long whatever and hit the notification bell to let you know every time i upload a video because I used to upload a lot, I think I've got like 400 and something videos on YouTube and I am going to do it again. I just can't set specific dates. So yeah, I'm going. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.